Hello and welcome to this week's special Valentine's Day Horner Report. I'm your host, Chris Hyun. Say, Faith, don't you sense that love is in the air? I thought it was just me, Chris. <laughs> You know, I know a lot of people that aren't the biggest fans of Valentine's Day, but I think any excuse to give a little more love to your friends, family, or that special someone is always a good thing, especially in the middle of winter. So Chris, what stories do we have today? First, love is in the air as Cupid delivers some of the best and worst pickup lines. Then I'll take you on a date to the beach for the HHS National Honor Society Polar Plunge Fundraiser. To warm us up from that cold plunge, Carly serves us a new segment of Carly's Brew. Then, Zach Pearson and Mike Brocco will dive into a feature on our very own swim team. Plus, Steve Siebel will give us the week's sports updates, and Pat Gary will feature senior night for the boys' basketball team. But for now, let's see where Cupid lands his love arrows. Or not. Here's Mike Brocco. Yo, what's up? My name is Mike Brocco, a.k.a. Cupid, and I'm out here trying to find some love. Let's get it. G-Day. G-Day. You're hotter than the bottom of my laptop. You want to be my valentine? No. We're on the, we're on the move. Be my valentine. Any of you. Wow. Okay, we're moving on. Somebody call the cops. It's got to be illegal to look that good. Be my valentine. How much? 100 bucks. Gav, Gav, Gav. Anything for you. Ian, I got a quick question for you. Yeah. Be my valentine. <laughs> Do you believe in love at first sight, or should I just walk by again? No. Be my valentine. <laughs> Cute dip. No. Terry, be my valentine. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, okay. be my valentine. <laughs> Do you want to be my valentine? No. Be my valentine. Yes. Thank you. Be my valentine. Yeah. I'm not a photographer, but I can picture us together. Mr. D. <laughs> you must be a Coca-Cola because you're so delicious. That is very strange. Jules, Jules, be my valentine. Yes. All right, guys, so uh, it didn't really go as planned, you know. No one just, no one loves me. No one wants me my Valentine. Thanks, Mike. It looks like you missed on quite a few of those arrows. Better luck next year. Speaking of luck, our National Honor Society had lots of luck organizing a polar bear plunge at Pier Village to raise money for a good cause. Tell us more, Chris. The National Honor Society polar plunge on February 8th at Pier Village in Long Branch was a huge success. It was a beautifully frigid 30 degree day with a UV index of 2. About 60 NHS members and a total of 200 plunged in the freezing ocean for a great cause. More than $2,000 were raised by NHS members for Camp Sunshine, an organization that aids families of children who have severe illnesses. Special thanks to NHS advisors Mr. Brown and Mrs. Riggy, and great job to my fellow NHS members. Here's what they had to say following their plunge. How did it feel to take a plunge? Oh my god, it was cold. very cold. Very. Water. It's cold! Literally so cold. <laughs> really cold, my toes are freezing. Props to all NHS members that were able to participate in this event. It's so great seeing the class participation we have at our school and how students are willing to donate their time and warmth for amazing charitable causes. To warm up from that freezing segment, let's see what Carly has for us on another episode of Carly's Brew. Take it away, Carly. Thanks, Faith. I know you've all been dying for another segment of Carly's Brew, but don't worry, I have your favorite caffeine fix ready to go. With Valentine's Day in full bloom and love in the air, I was interested to see how students would react to some simple and innocent romantic gestures. With the help of Michelle Yang, we took to the halls of Homedale High School. Let's see how students reacted. James, James, will you hold something for me? <laughs> Oh shoot! <laughs> I just fell for you! Disgusting! Ryan, will you hold something for me? Sure. <laughs> oh, no, not that. I think there's like a really attractive little woman over here. <laughs> Can you hold something for me? Yeah. Oh, Michelle! 
<laughs> I found one. <laughs> With the help of Ryan Bradley, we we're learning an Asani. <laughs> Anas, Anas, I need you to hold something. I need you to hold something. I need to hold you. I need you to hold. Hi, mom. I need you to hold something. What do you want? I need to. Hold, no, you need to put your hand out so I can give you something. No, one hand. One hand. Anas is a busy man. Anas, but you already came out. I'm here with my best friend Pat, and we're gonna do his Valentine's Day scavenger hunt. Are you ready, Pat? I just want to get one thing clear. Kevin is my best friend. No, no, no. I'm your best friend. Kevin. <laughs> Me and Kevin are best friends, all right? I'm getting that clear. And yeah, sure, I'm ready. I'm Pat's best friend, obviously. Dang. This is your first clue. Woohoo, woohoo. The time has come. Time for Pat to have some fun. Let's start with clue number one. Go to the place where the cameras are clicked through. That's where you'll find clue number two. I wonder where that is. This scavenger hunt's not good. Where's your board pass? Get Kevin right. Keep it. Way to go, Kevin. You did it. Good job. I'm so proud. Clue number three is found where people get loud. Think about it. I know you can. It's time to find the promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you found, he found clue number three so fast. Okay, ready? Can you read it or no? Okay. Yay, you found your clue. But wait, there's more. And now it's time for clue number four. You can find this one where Faith and Chris sit. Demo around, it's so lit. I'm sorry, but it has around. Oh, I see it. Grab it. You go, Carly. Okay. Yay, Pat. This is why you're my best friend. And our scavenger hunt is about to come to an end. Clue number five is hidden at the throne of a god. Where do I normally sit? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Where is the throne of a god? <laughs> Mr. D, it's where Mr. D sits. That's right. Brian Dino Bellis. <laughs> this game turns not good. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, clue number five. I found it. Here you go, Carly. You, okay. OMG, you're done, Pat. I'm so proud. <laughs> so mean. So what is your prize? You win a free hug from Carly Brew. How lucky are you? <laughs> Am I being stood up? I thought this Valentine's Day would be different. Well, that might not have been the success Michelle and I had hoped for, but we still had tons of fun. And hey, Valentine's Day can be about anyone you love, whether that be your friends, mom, grandpa, etc. I recommend taking this Valentine's Day to let whomever you love know how you feel. Thanks for joining me for this lovely installment of Carly's Brew. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for spreading some love, Carly. I love to see that outlook she had on Valentine's Day. Really what it comes down to is spending time with the people you love, no matter what that is. Diving into our next segment, Zach Pearson and Mike Brocco caught up with our swim team at HHS. The team made some changes this year, making it more inclusive to students with all abilities. A number of team members have made some waves by mentoring new swimmers during practice and meets. Zach and Mike, take it away. I'm here with the uh, Homedale swim team. Uh, how do you guys feel about being a part of the swim team? Good. Um, I'm a junior. Uh, I can't believe I graduated next year, and I'll be doing the swim team next year. That's cool. What about you? Right, how do you feel? I feel happy about my <laughs> friends and my coaches with me. And some of my swimming is so great. What have you guys learned about being part of the swim team? Uh, the swim team was great, so the races are so fun, and the practices are so fun. I love my coaches. What's it like working with the swim team? Um, it's a great opportunity to have more people on a team, and we hope that we're inspired other school 
school. Yeah, we hope this yeah. other schools will see what we're doing and do the same thing. And it's just so much fun having a part of the team. Not only does it get the kids involved in our schools, but the other schools see what we're doing and they're like overjoyed. They ask us every time we come to a meet, they come up to us like, do you guys, are you gonna do the exhibition swim at the end? Can we do it with you? Can we have more swimmers? And we get more people involved. I have parents and people from the Y asking me, what are you doing? Can we have our swimmers come and join us? I say, well, you have to move to home, Del, then. <laughs> so, but it's really great. How did you start this program? Well, last year we had uh, one of our student sisters, one of our athlete sisters who really wanted to be a part of the team, but she didn't want to try out. She was nervous. So we had her on the team. We made special accommodations for her to be on the team, yeah. and she did fabulous. So this year we asked for all swimmers of all abilities to be able to swim with us. So we got four people who really love swimming, and they were so excited to come out and be a part of the team. And every practice, they're working together with their teammates to um, better their swim. And they've improved along the way. And they get to swim in an actual high school varsity meet at the end. And what did you guys learn about being part of this team? Um, it's just, I think sports is for everyone. Like you should, no matter what ability you have, you can, you can do whatever your heart desires. <laughs> Thanks, boys. It looks like everything's going quite swimmingly. Staying on the topic of sports, let's see how our other sports team are doing. Steven? Thanks, Chris. Our sports team's on a roll and doing some exceptional things this season. Our boys basketball team recently had their senior night and had a convincing win against Shore Regional. Pat Gary has more about the night. Pat? Hi, I'm Patrick at the Home Hill Boys basketball game. As the 13-3 Hornets look to go 14-3 and beat Shore, First quarter, Doug Chen on the steal, all by himself as he lays it in for an easy two. More home no D. John Curry picks up the loose ball over to Pete Canizzo to Derek Chen for another layup. Pete Canizzo driving in, passes to Chen for another two more points. Derek Chen open for three in the corner, swish. Here's Carreri with another steal to Jack Giamenko. Back to Carreri who slams it down. And Carreri with another steal. Ahead to Jack who gets the easy layup. Home nose D was dominating. Another steal for Derek Chen as he goes up for an easy two. The Hornets pass the ball well. Eric Hines throws the mid-range jumper. Derek Chen steals the ball, rushes down the court, and dishes it down to Pekinizzo, who finishes off strong. Another fast break, Curry with a give and go to Canizzo for the bucket. Here with Coach Vinny. So, Coach, how did that win feel on senior night? Uh, well, obviously, it's great for our team, and then as a bonus, it's, it's great for the seniors. So it was nice to finally have one where the game was decided going into the fourth quarter. Every one of our games seems like it comes down to the last couple minutes. So overall, it was great for everyone tonight. All right, thanks for time. The Hornets improved to 14-3 and three and beat Shore 71-39. to 39. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Pat. It looked like an awesome night, and congratulations to all of our seniors. Good luck the rest of the season and in your future. The boys sit at fifth in the short conference rankings and a record of 16-3. In other sports news, the girls basketball team went 3-1 over the week with a recent 43-32 win over Ocean Township. That victory helped them qualify for the short conference tournament with a record of 11-10. Also, our hockey team won 5-1 over Shore Regional in round one of the short conference tournament. A special congratulations goes to Dante Balsamo who was voted MVP on the Shore Conference All-Division team. I'm Steve Siebel, and that's the buzz in Homedale Sports. Thanks, Stephen. It's always great to see our sports teams excelling and bringing up that school spirit. Thank you for tuning in for another lovely segment of the Horner Report, and remember to spread love this Valentine's Day. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at HHS Horner Report, and on Snapchat, at Horner Report, to join the hive. We hope you'll join us next time, where we'll bring you this week's best at HHS.